Are you guys bored in Sneaky Sasquatch? Well, I'd assume yes, because otherwise you wouldn't click on this video. But today, I'm going to be going over a list of things that you can do in this game when you're bored and you've done everything, or not everything, but you've done most storylines and stuff like that. And you're like, you know, what, you, what do I do now? You know, you just got to think about it. And I'm going to give some solutions, you know. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Spaghetti Man. And the reason why I mentioned that is because in my last video, I, rec I asked you guys for name suggestions on why you should name Spaghetti Man. And... I think today's the day I pick what name we go with. And the thing is, a lot of people commented on suggestions. Like, I think I got 22 total comments for suggestions and whatnot. So I'm just going to put in the wheel of names and we're going to see which one it picks out. All right, let's just go ahead and give this a spin. Oh, which one even is that? Ooh, the Spaghetti Commander. It was very close to being Purple Guy, which is the uh, FNAF reference, I guess. But the Spaghetti Commander is actually a decent name. I'll go ahead and take that. All right, let's go hang out, Spaghetti Man. I guess I feel a little bad for him, so I'll go ahead and at least change his outfit back to normal. All right, perfect. All right, let's just go ahead and type in that name. Yeah, there we go. That works. All right, well, congratulations to the commenter for getting your name selected. And his name from now on will be Spaghetti Commander because that's just how it is. Anyway, sorry for that weird little intro, and um, let's just get straight to the point of the video. Let's get started here. All right, let's get started with the first thing you can do. So basically what you can do here is, you know these little text things, right? You know, you can customize the text at whatever you want and all that. But a lot of people don't actually know about this, but you can actually customize these texts. Like for example, you can make the size bigger or stuff like that. Like if I put this command with like the U or whatever and I type stuff in, it should underline it. As you can see, if I zoom in there, it is underlined. And you can actually mess around with this quite a bit. Like I think you can make it like a huge size, then it'll like cover up the map. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But I'll try like size equals 200. And yeah, as you can see, I typed in size equals 200. Look at those big explanation marks. Let's go. What if I type in a bigger number? Like, I don't know if this would work, but I could try 999. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. Look at that giant die. That is crazy. Okay, hopefully this doesn't break the game, but let me try this one. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, fair enough. Maybe I could try like 10,000 or something. I don't know. Oh my god, that actually works. That's crazy, man. Um, yeah, if you guys want your town hall to look like this, um, try it yourself. Oh my god, man. I don't know why, this is just the funniest thing I've ever seen all day. And Spaghetti Man, or rather, what is now known as Spaghetti Commander, he is definitely enjoying this too. It's just complete flashbang. Anyways, I have more stuff to show off about this, because there's actually a lot of stuff you can do with this texting other than just breaking the game. So there's another one that's pretty interesting, and if you type in Sprite, not like the soda, but you know like texture sprite okay this should work and yeah look at that if you zoom in you can see an arcade ticket actually i think there's like four different sprites you can try out i'll show more of them i do kind of wonder if you can like combine the size with the sprite as well oh my god it actually works i did not expect that to work man that's actually interesting dude look at what i did man i i Oh my god, man. I've ruined this town. i have It's all blue, man. It's just... It's a giant ticket that... I, I, I always heard that in my childhood. Life is a giant arcade ticket. Yeah. But I don't care about arcade tickets. I want money. And what I mean by that is that there's a sprite for coins. Yeah, so sprite equals zero gives you coins. I think this time I'll be... I'll, I think this time I'll be a bit more lenient on the size. I'll only do 5,000. All right, this should work here. And yep, look at that, a giant, oh my god, it feels surreal that this is even in the game, that actually looks so funny. This is the world, guys, this is capitalism, this is the government, uh, when they collect all your tax money, this is why you don't pay taxes, guys. Oh my god, you can even see in the background, it's just a bunch of yellow. So, you know, it's business as usual, I'm inside the building, and then when you walk outside, and it all changes. Alright, well, this is, this is money, I mean, I've already talked a lot about this, but this is, uh... This is definitely something uh, you can try. By the way, yeah, like I said, yeah, you can actually try this in-game right now if you want. So, like I said, type in size, whatever. I think there's a limit. Like, try like 9,999, then type in sprite equals zero or one or whatever. I forgot how many sprites there are, but there are a few of them. But yeah, fun little thing. I don't know if it's necessarily a glitch, but it's still pretty fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, on to the second thing you can do, and this one has to do with the fire station. Definitely, I definitely consider this one of the more fun ones, and you probably know what I'm talking about in a minute. So the next thing I want to mention on this list is just in general using the sewage water, because I just consider this to be pretty fun. Like, I can take this unsuspecting victim and just spray him with sewage water like that. 
And just like that, now he stinks and everyone wants to stay away from him and then he becomes isolated and that's fun. But I have another idea. I know I've done this a couple times before in two videos because I like milking this, but I have another cool idea. What if I stack the buses like last time, but the bus drivers that are stacked up, I like spray them all at once. I think that'd be fun. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna play a little time lapse and I'm just gonna get all these buses stacked up. All right, well, I'd say this is good enough. So let's just get that hose ready. All right, and let's go three, two, one, go. Bruh. Oh, I'm missing them completely. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for real this time. And boom, let's go. <laughs> yeah, and there you go, I just hit all of them. And wow, that is super cool. Should probably hit him again though, just for good measure. And yeah, I'm just, it's probably like 10 of these guys and they're just trying to do their job and I'm completely stopping them. And remember guys, this content is educational. I'm trying to get you guys to do all these things if you're born in the game and I'm and I'm being a good I'm being I'm being a good person. I think I've taught them their lesson. Don't exist. And yeah, um, now that now these now these guys are just a gang of stinky people. So yeah, that's about it I have for the uh, sewage water. There's a lot more I can do with it. You can even fight fires with it, but I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm just gonna move on to number three. All right, this is gonna be a pretty short one, but this one is actually gonna be about the stats book. And more specifically, just maxing it out. Because if you look at my stats book, I have 1,100 hours in this game. That's kind of crazy. But anyways, you can see that in the stats book, I have absolutely everything complete. Because I actually got bored myself in this game. And that's something I tried to do. And yeah, I actually achieved it. I got every single thing completed in this game. And it's actually kind of fun to an extent. There are some things that aren't fun about it. Like getting all the friends or maybe getting all the digging holes that was annoying to do it took me way too long to find the last couple of those but it is kind of satisfying though to just look through your friend's book and look at that every single one maxed out um this took me a very long time to do and i think i got most i think i grinded most of this by like when i'm in school right and i have nothing better to do i kind of just go on my phone and grind this out and i finished all that so very fun thing to do and of course i can go on and on mushrooms everything's completed fishing guide everything is completed of course so yeah, very satisfying to get everything on here and you know all the teleports. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say about that. Um, complete your stats book. All right, so this next fun thing to do is actually for rich people only. So yeah, guys, if you have no money in this game, uh, skip to the next one, I guess. But to elaborate further, you can change your friend's name to something inappropriate for a hefty price. But of course, first I need a friend. And as I just showcased in the last part, I have plenty of friends. If only it was like this in real life, huh? But anyways, let's just choose a random friend that's nearby. Like, I guess the clothing store owner. All right, so let's go ahead and name my friend Analysis Guy. If, if you read the first four letters, um, you can see why I would get censored. That's disgusting. Analysis Guy, really? I would only change that name. And yep, here's the part where I need a million coins. And yeah, you can actually name your friend whatever you want uh, that's censored as long as you have the money. So like I said, get your bread up. Do I have a million coins? I mean, I think so. Wait, really? Is this a joke? No. You'll give me a million coins to change my name to Analysis. Analysis Guy, yes. I can't afford it, man. I'm poor myself, man. I gotta get my bread up. All right, well, I'm gonna have to withdraw some cash real quick. Um, Be right back. Okay, this has nothing to do with the video, but I found a weird little interaction where um, the clothing store owner, if you want to give him a, a custom outfit, he gives it to himself, I guess. Like, if I do it like that, then... Yeah, <laughs> he literally refers to himself. He's like, oh, I'd love a new outfit from this guy, and it's just him. Like, let's just give him this random hat, right? Yeah, and he literally, like, just charges me for his own outfit. It, it's It's weird. And he says, thanks for stopping. Yeah, I don't know, man. It Again, it has nothing to do with the video. I just thought it was a weird interaction. I thought I'd include it. All right, it took a little bit, but there we go. I finally have the money. All right, now I can truly be analysis guy. All right, yep, I have a million coins. That's not a joke. And let's see. And yep, I'm not very excited about the new name, but I'm very happy about the money. Yeah, there we go. His name is Analysis Guy, um, and if you know, you know the first four letters. Anyways, uh, yeah, um, fun little thing in this game. I'm probably going to go ahead and leave and rejoin the area because I don't want to actually lose a million coins over this, but I just thought I'd want to inform the people about this just in case you didn't know yet. All right, moving on to the next thing. This is probably one I wouldn't really do myself that much, but you could level up your dog. As you can see, currently my dog is level 17 and... I can go higher than that, obviously. I can. I think people have gone up to level 100 before, 
But the reason why you'd want to go up even more is because the more you level them up, the more things your dog likes or doesn't like or whatever. And I think it's a pretty neat little thing. And you can also make your pet analyzer thing in the pet store, you know, go really long and all that. So there's that. Now, like I said, I haven't really done this in a while, but I think you can like pet him for some heart points or whatever you want to call it. It's not working right now though, but I can at least try to give him some food or her rather because yeah. Yeah, see, there you go, went up a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little time lapse here of me leveling up my dog. All right, well, it's been a while, but I think I max out the heart now, so he should level up when I wake up tomorrow. All right, let's see what happens. Yep, here's a little heart thing. You reach a new level of your relationship with Luna. Your pet has developed a new reaction to a certain amount of food, to a certain food pasta. After eating the food, your pet will get an upset stomach and you need to go to the bathroom right away. Dang, that's like basically spaghetti, right? So my dog is anti-spaghetti, which um, that's kind of not cool. I'll worry about that later, but um, yeah, that's that's it for that. So pretty cool idea. If you want to do that, then you can, but moving on. All right, I have one more thing to mention in this video, and it's simply just earning coins. I know it's very short and straight to the point, but basically earn as much coins as you can, become rich like me, and that's like one fun thing to do um, when you finish the game. You know, you could buy stuff like the uh, car mods and whatnot, and you could buy the names, I guess, the 1 million coin stuff. I actually have made uh, a good guide recently, or not recently, but it was a while back. I made a guide on how to make like basically like 50,000 coins per hour if you want to check that out. And um, yeah, that that's that's like the only other thing I have uh, I can think of. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope I hope you can uh, find some fun things to do. I think my favorite one is the uh, text thing where you can like put size a million then you can like break the game. That's my probably my favorite. Um, if you guys want, you can also mention your favorites. Um, shout out to my members here and um, yeah, I'll see you in the very next video.